Hello, welcome to Azad GTB South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. How Equatoria locks its way to the presidency. The Equatoria region is one of the three regions that make up South Sudan. South Sudan comprises three regions, namely Baral Kazal, Alpha Nile, and Equatoria. Most of the Equatoria region is blessed with around the year rainfall. The climate in most areas, with the exception of eastern Equatoria, is cool and wet. The conducive climate makes Equatoria the breadbasket of South Sudan due to its agricultural productivity prowess. On the political prone, Equatoria has continued to play its vital role of unifying the three regions of South Sudan. The region has produced high-caliber politicians like Dr. Waniga, Joseph Bangasi Bakosoro, and Thomas Cirillo, among others. While these high-caliber politicians from Equatoria are playing the top league of national politics, we are here to look at the mysteries revolving around their chances to the presidency. In this video, we have analyzed three topmost politicians from Equatoria who have literally allowed the presidency to slip through their fingers intentionally or unintentionally. Or do you think they have not made the chances to the presidency slip through the cracks? Here are they. Number one, Dr. Waniga, the second vice president of South Sudan, an SPLA ministry member, is the most unifying figure the country is lucky to have. Let's face the uncomfortable truth. Dr. Waniga had stepped down for a record three times for pet vice president Dr. Yak Mashar. Being the gentleman of South Sudanese politics, Dr. Wani Iga has lived up to his true definition. While Dr. Wani has a shot at succeeding President Kir, age is not on his side. Dr. Wani Iga presumably manifests no affinity for power. Power is not given, power is taken. Nevertheless, a day in politics is such a long time and the will of Potion can turn towards the great son of Equatoria. Number two, Thomas Cirillo Swaka. General Thomas Cirillo is an ex-deputy general chief of staff for logistics and training for SSPDF. He is the current chairman of National Salvation Prawn, a revolutionary arm movement he formed after defecting to the Rebel Alliance in 2017. General Thomas Cirillo Arm Group has been accused of targeted wanton killings of civilians along Nimuli Juba Road by human rights groups. While H is on his side, the rebellion tack could have possibly destroyed the prospect of his political potions, given that South Sudanese are nowadays averse to choosing leaders who have allegedly created rivers of blood. All in all, time will tell, and General Thomas Cirillo has enough time to redeem himself and feasibly aspire for presidency. Number three, Joseph Bangasi Bakosoro. <laughs> Joseph Bangasi Bakosoro. He ran for governor of Western Equatoria State as an independent candidate against Nunu Kumba of SPLM in 2010 Sudan general elections, which he handedly won. In 2015, 
he was relieved of his gubernatorial post by President Kiir. Thereafter, arrested by security agencies and later released on April 27, 2016. After his release, he formed the South Sudan National Movement for Change, SSNMC, and joined the revitalized peace process in 2018 under the South Sudan Opposition Alliance, SOSOA Coalition. He was appointed Minister of Public Service a force he currently holds in the transitional government of national unity. Let's give it to Bakosoro because he has proven himself to be a free thinker. Also, he is a shrewd politician and a great orator whose message resonates well with masses. Additionally, he shows not to be bitter with the ill treatment he received under the Zen government. While a few of his peers who pound themselves on the wrong side of the government automatically joined rebel groups, Bakosoro decided to articulate his ideas nonviolently. The observation is that Bakosoro has everything age, experience, education, etc. at his disposal that can propel him into the presidency. However, Bakosoro made waves in the media recently by rejoining the SPLM ministry, which puts him at the tail end of the succession line, hence denying the Equatorial region presidency. In conclusion, who knows, Bakosoro may one day decide to return to his old self. After all, a leopard never changes its sports. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to South Sudan Global.